a really cool conference of art teachers and it's really one time a year when we get to speak the same language and people like to talk about their passion, art teaching. And looking forward to just sharing ideas and seeing what other art teachers teach in their schools. Because the theme is, uh, the, is process versus uh, product, I was, I was really quite motivated to talk about that. The theme is really interesting because a lot of times we're concerned with creativity versus the final product and I think it's it's good to kind of explore that and, and why we make art and why we ask students to make art. Is it for a grade or is it for just creativity purposes? I just love being here. It's a great group of people. Thank you Prem for having us uh, and hosting this year. I uh, really look forward to the rest of the weekend and uh, yeah, lots to learn. Always learning. So just keep learning. The acronym ARATE stands for Asia Region Art Educators and it's a weekend workshop held every year in a different region uh, of Asia. This year it's in Prem in Chiang Mai. It's part of Prem's commitment to embedding uh, creativity both philosophically and physically within its organization. We're building uh, a number of links both locally, nationally and internationally uh, with arts professionals and arts organizations. So when we were given the opportunity to, to work this year uh, with Arate, um, it was completely within um, our priorities as an organization uh, and within our objectives. And I really wanted this year to explore in partnership with Arate approaches that would help to achieve the balance between learning a craft, learning how to use materials, learning how to reach specific goals, yet at the same time not blocking or preventing any individual young person from exploring uh, the true potential of their own creativity. What we've chosen to do is to take our delegates out of their own comfort zones and stick them straight into the middle of real life, real working Thai studios to meet high quality, sort of groundbreaking contemporary Thai artists to exchange thoughts and ideas, to listen to them, to hear about their work, to hear about their practice and to hopefully be able to take something back from that that they can then use in their own classrooms. We've worked really closely uh, with Joan Lewis, who is the founder um, of Arate, and we've tried to create a cross-section of workshops that are both engaging and appealing to practitioners working in junior school, middle school and high school, but also workshops that really allow any person engaging within that workshop to truly explore both the notion of process and product, but also to be able to walk away from that workshop with a skill that, again, they can take back to their own classroom practice. It was just really useful and inspiring. I've learned many things, and yeah, I have, have a list of things I would like to do in my next lesson. The Arate model is, is brilliant. I think it's unique, um, and I think its philosophy is key to its success. The notion of bringing together art teachers who engage and interact on their terms rather than being dictated to, who share uh, their passions and ask and exchange ideas and questions that are relevant to what they feel is important to their own teaching practice and to the overall approach to delivering high quality arts education. To see this many different people sharing, engaging, being open, exploring and being honest about both the strengths and the struggles that any individual art teacher may have is certainly unique. When you're in the company of a hundred artists who are teachers, there's going to be good and effective communication. And when you are in an environment that is giving and helpful and well organized, you're going to benefit. There's a real magical energy that you can sense when you walk into the workshops that are going on, when you talk to the people who are here, um, and when you share your own ideas, people are willing and wanting and ready to communicate. And I think that's the most important thing that educators can do. A big thank you to all the people that make that work. It may have been one person's idea, but it's everybody's vision, and that's the only way it works.